Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the controversy surrounding the ED Directorate and Supreme Court observation on that particular issue. Before we go further, first we will finish the syllabus mapping. It is related to in syllabus mapping. It is related to gender studies paper two, paper two, in GS paper two, statutory, regulatory, and various. quasi judicial authorities this is the line and so the ed related to statutory body statutory body means an organization which is established through by making a law by making a law either in the parliament or in the assembly statute they are known as statutory bodies in this video we will discuss about why it is in news why this enforcement directed in news then we will discuss about some details regarding the ed then functions of ed how the ed director will be appointed that means what is the composition of the committee who will be the members in the committee then the background of this controversy we will discuss about 2021 amendments made by the indian parliament what are those amendments and we will discuss about some of the important supreme court judgments such as vinit narayan case in the vinit narayan case what was the observation of supreme court then what are the issues challenged in this present case and finally we will discuss about what are the supreme court observations regarding this particular issue so these are the details we are going to cover in this video so before we go further first let me explain the concept related to ed directorate okay this is related to ed directorate ed directorate so first you have to understand students ed it stands for enforcement directorate okay ed it implements fema foreign exchange management act and it also implement the pmla prevention of money laundering act these two acts are implemented by ed okay ed is headed by director ed headed by director the norm i mean this director will be selected by appointed by an appointment committee appointment committee we will discuss who are the members in this appointment committee very soon we will discuss okay so director the normal tenure of ed director normal tenure of ed director is 2 years 2 years in 2021 in 2021 parliament amended this amendments so parliament done amendments to both ed as well as the cbi director tenures according to this amendment the tenure increased from 2 years to the tenure increase increased from 2 years to 5 years 2 years to 5 years but here you have to understand this 5 years is not a fixed tenure 2 years is a fixed tenure and after 2 years every one year the annual extension will be given annual extension will be given this is the amendment so but in 2021 in 2021 when the first extension at that time ed director was ajay kumar mishra ajay kumar mishra was the ed director he was given the extension two extensions one is 2021 to 2022 the other one is 2022 to 2023 okay who has to give the extension listen carefully appointment committee is different and extension committee is different the extension has to given by the high powered committee high powered committee the extension has to given by the high powered committee we will see who are the members in the high high powered committee we will see so in the but this extension to ajay kumar mishra it was not followed according to the rules so in 2021 in 2021 supreme court supreme court in the case of common cause versus union of india in that case supreme court given a judgment that ajay kumar mishra should be removed that means supreme court issued the writ of mandamus writ of mandamus supreme court issued writ of mandamus against the appointment of the against the extension of the ajay kumar mishra 
in spite of that in spite of that he got he got so extensions this was challenged in the court okay here one question to students writ supreme court can issue the writ under article 32 and high court can issue the writ under article 226 the question is whether supreme court or high court who got the larger jurisdiction so supreme court or high court who got the larger writ jurisdiction okay tell me the answer this question is regarding the writ jurisdiction now which issues are challenged before the supreme court let us see okay there are two issues challenged before the supreme court these issues are number one first issue so ajay kumar mishra ajay kumar mishra continuation ajay kumar mishra continuation this is valid or not valid or not this this was a first contention and the second contention is whatever the amendments parliament amendments parliament amendments parliament amendments whether these parliament amendments are valid or not so these two issues were question before the supreme court now supreme court given a judgment listen carefully ajay kumar mishra continuation is not valid that means invalid then the amendments done by the parliament so what the what are the amendments the amendment is about the extension of tenure from 2 years to additional 3 years annual extension these amendments are valid or not means valid so this you have to understand supreme court given a judgment that these amendments are valid but this continuation is invalid why supreme court held that these are valid when supreme court is examining whether a particular law is valid or not supreme court consider two things number one whoever made the law whether they are competent to make a law or not that means here whether the parliament is competent to make a law or not as yes, parliament is competent second the law made the law made was whether it was violating the fundamental rights or not so here in this case that law was not violating the fundamental rights as both two things were tested supreme court held that this law was valid these amendments were valid so this is about supreme court judgment now we will go further discussion why it is in news supreme court recently asked enforcement directorate ed so to terminate from his that particular post asked to this director to quit normally till what time he got extension he got extension till 18th november 2023 actually he supposed to be removed immediately but government requested the time till july 31st because the financial action task force fatf review meeting is going on review meeting is going on so government re requested some extension so this is the introduction and supreme court looked into two issues we already discussed what are those two issues then we discussed about 2021 supreme court ruled that ajay kumar mishra extension was invalid at that time in the judgment of common cause versus union of india it was been violated the court observed that the right of mandamus was violated right of mandamus was violated parliament amendments as i said earlier parliament done two amendments in 2021 one is the cvc amendment bill 2021 the second one was delhi special police establishment act amendment 2021 these were the two amendments made by the indian parliament by using these two amendments the tenure of the ed director extend extended from 2 years to 5 years with three annual extensions issues again challenged in the court so which issue challenged the issue challenged were whether these extensions are valid or not because in vinit narayan case vinit narayan case 1997 at that time supreme court held that cbi and ed directors they should have fixed tenure of 2 years if government wanted to increase they can increase to 3 years or 4 years but the tenure must be fixed that means these people 
they should have the security of tenure when you are providing the security of tenure then only the organization independency can be secured okay that was the observation of supreme court now rather than giving the permanent tenure we are giving the annual extensions so it was challenged in the supreme court but supreme court supported because parliament is capable to do that means competent to do and this amendment was nothing to do with the fundamental rights supreme court supported that next fine if you want to give extension after 2 years with respect to ed when high powered committee have five members which includes cvc as well as vigilance commissioners they will so they will examine and they will give the extension in case of cbi the extension will be given by the committee which consists of prime minister leader of opposition and chief justice of india okay so this committee will give extension supreme court in the case of ajay mishra this extension was not according to the rule that is the reason supreme court in 2021 asked him to quit but it was not followed ed ed established in 1956 as as enforcement unit under the department of economic affairs but later it name changed to enforcement directorate and now it comes under the control of department of revenue which under the ministry of finance this is about ed and ed enforces like i said earlier fema 1999 act as well as pmla prevention of money laundering act by using these acts ed can so attach properties and ed can search and ed can arrest people more or less ed can exercise the powers of civil courts ed can act like a civil court that you have to understand so these are some of the laws which regulates the ed functioning appointment of ed director so already we discussed about the committee which give extension to ed director now this appointment committee this appointment committee head cvc central vigilance commissioner and members include vigilance commissioners home secretary dopd secretary and revenue secretary these were the members and ed is facing some criticism such as it is acting on the behest of government that means it is more favorable to the government and while exercising the powers the petitioners i mean whoever they are subjected to this search by the ed the rights are being violated and poor conviction rate of ed so ed cases the people are not found guilty that means majority of the cases are generally not legal that means they are politically motivated one these are some of the allegations on ed and finally the conclusion the conclusion is in democratic countries like india whether investigating agencies like cbi or it may be the tax investigating agency ed these agencies must work independently if the agencies are working independently then justice can be ensured if justice is ensured then people can have more confidence on the institutions so we must ensure these agencies work independently that is about the conclusion so we'll see today's question okay today's question is about consider the following statements ed is a part of ministry of home affairs first statement second it enforces it enforces fema and pmla these are the two statements tell me which one is right main question cbi and ed they were called as caged parrots by the supreme court do you agree with this and what are the issues are being faced by these premier agencies and suggest some dynamic solution to overcome these issues so this is the main question students okay as we are reaching to the end of this video just we will do the quick revision what we learn in this video so we discussed about supreme court observations on ed and supreme court invalidated the the extension given to ed director but supreme court validates the extension laws because parliament is competent to make and ed how the ed started we discussed and who controls the ed ed functions also we covered and we discussed about vinith narayan case what were the supreme court observations and what are the issues 
and criticisms facing by the ED also we discussed. This is the detailed analysis regarding the enforcement directive.